Hello, people! What's up? Welcome to Jacket Alliance 2 1.13. So, if you have m missed or didn't watch these episode 0, um, we're gonna play Jacket Alliance 2 with the 1.13 patch, which is an amazing patch. It adds a ton of stuff. And um, if you are not firm familiar with the story of this game, Basically, you are a commander that is supposed to hire a mercenary troop to uh, liberate a... Um, I think it's a fictional South American country named Arulco, which is ruled by a tyrannical dictator. Or dictatress? It's, it's a female dictator. It's very, very interesting, actually. It's such an old game and the dictator is female. That's very interesting if you think about that. But yeah. We'll start a new game. Um, let me just go over the options real quick about what I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna play on experience. This is like um, the standard settings. Um, inventory attachments. I'm gonna use the new system, which is pretty awesome because the attachments go exactly where on the weapon where they're supposed to go. I find that quite nice. Squad size eight. Um, that's Normally it would be six. I find eight pretty nice. Um, IMP characters. These are the created mercenaries, the ones you can create yourselves. Um, I decided to go with two. Um, basically, I I want to create a few characters to to uh, get a bit of help at the beginning, but I also want to use normal mercenaries. So two, I think, is a good um, a good balance here. Progress speed of item choices, that's how, how how fast the gear of the enemy army is progressing. I choose normal, that's fine. Bobby Ray quality, Bobby Ray is the gun store. Um, I rarely use it actually, I mostly use it for med packs and uh, ammo I think. So I think great is in, in both quality and quantity is good. Skill traits, I want the new skill traits, they're, they're much more... Um, well, I would say they're they're easier to, to read and there are cool traits there. Available arsenal, tons of guns, that's always good. Um, I'm gonna play unrealistic for this one. Um, I don't like the, the stupid box, I really don't. I hate them. Enemy drop all items, I'm gonna activate this. Because I really like that, you know? So you can... It feels really rewarding to beat like the elite troops of the uh, of the uh, the enemy, so we can get their gear. That is really satisfying. So yeah, improved interrupt system. I'm not quite sure how this works, so I'm leaving this. Um, extra difficult save anytime. I'm gonna leave this, but I'll try not to save scum. So I'll not try to save, take a shot if it misses, load again. I'm not gonna do that. Promised. Uh, merc story backgrounds, that's fine. So some mercs will hate each other because they're of different nationalities and stuff. I think that's what that is. Inventory manipulation costs AP. I'm leaving this off because I tend to just, you know, place things in my inventory to my liking in combat and that will screw me over. New chance to hit system. I, had, I, I need to deactivate this because leaving this on on is way too frustrating for me. I know what they're trying to do with it, but... I, it's just not clicking with me and food system. I'm also gonna leave for off for this one. So It's kind of old-school experience, but with a few new features for me All right, we're starting off in our laptop. This is the laptop mode um, In which we can look here. We have new files So this is the region we're gonna um, infiltrate so to speak a roll of facts, so there are one major city, nine towns, two airports, two medical facilities, info about the government, yada yada yada. This is all background information. Um, this guy, um, this guy here, he gave us the, um, the mission to free this country because his wife framed him from, for the murder of his father, who was the king of the country, and then she basically took over and he had to fake his own death and flee if I remember that correctly. So yes, she is the dictator Deitrana Reitman of Romania. 
All right. So the other things that we can do in the laptop is, of course, we get emails from time to time. Um, for example, you can see there's some story emails here from Enrico, our uh, our employee, so to speak, or our employer rather. And uh, from time to time, we will get like emails from from the gun store if we um, order something, progression, you know, good stuff. And now there's a few websites here. The AIM, the Association of International Mercenaries, which we're gonna get, take a look at in a few minutes to uh, get some uh, mercs recruited. First we go to the IMP. Now here you can create your own mercenaries. And in contrast to the normal Jacket Alliance, the standard, um, just basic, the gold edition I think it's called, they have improved that process a lot because the basic process was via a questionnaire that you had to answer and each answer stood for a specific skill and like a psychological trait and it sometimes was a bit convoluted and then in the end it was a bit of a lottery if you would get the real skills, the ones you wanted and they streamlined it to just picking the skills that you want so it's pretty cool. Also, one of the best features if you create a mercenary in one of your games you can, instead of just um, putting in the activation code here, you can put in that um, created mercenary's name to just get that guy again. So you don't have to recreate all the guys you do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna load two of my mercenaries that I did a test run with, two that really, uh, I think, are pretty nice. First, dead eye. Ding! To see, we have just one mercenary added, and it deducted three thousand um, dollars for our account. And the other one is called Dragon. Very generic names, I know. And of course, you get um, every time you uh, create a mercenary, you get a little report about what they, their personalities are, their attitudes, their skills. So yeah, um, let me just uh, show you these two guys and guy and girl actually. First is Deadeye. Um, she is a sniper. So she has the sniper and scouting traits, which is pretty nice. Um, she comes with a like a Coleco M900, which is a, like a basic sniper rifle. So she is the one that will be doing the long range engagement for most of the early game. And the other one is Dragon. He is... Um, Skill-wise, he's gunfighter and ambidextrous, which means he is very good with two guns in his hands. Which is a playstyle I think is really, really interesting. So he comes with two Browning HP-35s and two holsters and stuff. That's pretty cool. So these two are my baseline and the rest we're gonna choose from AIM. So, the thing is, I a lot of these mercenaries I know by heart from my early days, but there's also some in here that I have never seen. I think some of them are from Unfinished Business. I think this guy, for example, Henning, that he was added in Unfinished Business and stuff. So, yeah, not I don't know all of them, but we're gonna see what who we're gonna hire. Basically, what we are looking for right now is a bit of the more cheaper uh, mercenaries. So I've sorted them by price. So these are the most expensive guys here. And if we go to page two, these are the more affordable ones. So we're gonna go look more at these, I suppose. Uh, also, if you ever asked yourself why I named myself Shadow, this guy. He was probably my favorite mercenary in this game in every playthrough. In every playthrough I got him and he is so, so good. So that's why he is kind of inspirational, so to speak. I really like this guy. Maybe we're gonna hire him later, but right now he's way too expensive for our likings. So, what are we looking for? We are looking for a doctor, first and foremost, because our two other guys don't really have the necessary skills. And this guy is pretty much one of the cheapest doctors you can get. And also he has a high wisdom, which means he learns very fast, so he can Get, become a decent shot over time. Also, this is also a new feature that you can choose the, the equipment. I really like that. So, let me see. What What is that? Exacto knife. 
Yeah, but then he doesn't have a med kit. Gun choice. I think this is better because the standard equipment comes with this 38 Special, which is one of the most crappiest gun in, guns in the game. And I think the Barracuda is a little bit better. Accuracy 1, damage 25, range 10. 2, 27, 11. So yeah, I, I think we go with the gun choice. So let's contact him. Michael Dawson, MD. Yes, sir. How long a contract is this going to be? So we're gonna hire him for one week. This should be w enough to clear like the first few sectors. I know I'm a little green as far as field work, but just put a scalpel in my hand and watch my smoke. Oh yes, and uh, then we can see if we wanna prolong the contract. Bells on. Right, very good. Um, also, something we want to get is a how should we say a. Um, expert in in technique a uh, a locksmith basically so i think you can also sort these guys by yes by this um where is it strength health mechanical there we go so here this is hands down the best guy trevor is so so freaking good but again he's costly as hell so we're gonna look for somebody who's a bit more reasonable priced Jimmy Upton. That's a new guy. I've never seen him. He's a terrible shot, though. I mean, MD is as well, but oh my god. He has also a low wisdom, so he will not improve that fast. Magic. He is damn good. Vincenzo Massimo. 88. Oh, he's quite reasonable. Caught between the world of war and the world of wise guy. <laughs> Okay, able to fix anything, including college basketball games. <laughs> That's cool, guy. So, what can we get him? So, either with a lockpick kit... Premium would be good, because then he gets a toolkit... And a locksmith thingy. But the gear is gonna be very costly in this... Mm. I think we can go by... Like this. Although then he doesn't have a gun, what the hell? Yeah, okay, let's go for standard equipment. We need him, we need a gun for him at least, come on. Everybody wants the Vinster. He's gonna have to straighten this out the old-fashioned way. The guy who puts the most cash in the envelopes gets me. Alright, let's see what you do. <laughs> they never showed. They better come soon, or Uncle Vinny's gonna fix it so they's catching the sports channel with their ears. I like this guy. <laughs> All right, uh, one week. Of course I'm in. What do you think? I don't got what it takes. All right, so we have our mechanical guy. Um, some say you should hire an explosive expert as well, but I don't think at early game it is that important. So I don't really need to do that. Now I, what I want is like two more guys who are a bit more combat experienced, so a bit more shooty guys. So we're gonna sort by marksmanship. And of course now the first one that are gonna come up are the absolute snipers. They are genius, so I think at these row we don't even have to look at because they're way too uh, expensive. Um, Ivan, well he's also too expensive actually. Steroid, steroid's pretty good. I never worked with him. The thing is, all mercenaries have some kind of bias towards certain other mercenaries, so there are people who like to work with each other and people who don't like to work with each other. And for some people, I know exactly who they like and dislike. For this guy, I don't really know. Oh, Hitman, I know him. I think that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see, what kind of equipment can he have? So what's the difference here? A Suckum 1-26-12 or a M1911 0-26-10. Oh, so this is actually the better gun, but it's a bit more costly here. Comes with a uh, extended ear, that's nice. And he has good knives to throw. I think I'm gonna go with this equipment. Hello Ace, you're talking to Hitman Hennessy. Mercenary for hire. Yes. How big a bag am I packing? Ten thousand? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's worth the money. Count me in, Ace. 
All right, now I have five mercenaries. Hmm, I don't think I can get another guy for as cheap. Well, I, I'm, I'm gonna check. Let me see, what are the cheapest? The cheapest that are still somewhat okay. Kaboom, an explosive expert. Wisdom 28, no, forget that. Howard, Carp, Melfield. Hector, oh, Steve, ah, uh, Grizzly is actually kind of nice. I like Grizzly. Grizzly is like a... He, he, the, the picture reminds me of some action movie star. I'm not quite sure which one. <laughs> he can even get a golden desert eagle. That's nice. Mm. Knuckle duster or knife? Actually, I think the knuckle duster is cooler. And a large holster. All right, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna hire him. Yeah, I think. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. How long are we talking about? That's four thousand. That's still way enough. Excellent. Nice. All right, so we have a good, good troop. Six mercenaries. Um, four of them are more or less combat um, oriented. Two of them are more um, specialist roles. I would say. So yeah, here we are in the map screen, so we're gonna arrive at Omerta, which is like the rebel town. Well, it's bombed to shit, so the rebels are not really there anymore. Well, they're in the underground. We'll see them. And there's a couple of towns here, and our goal is down here in P3, in Meduna, where the queen is resident. But of course, we're first gonna take the other cities, because the other cities have mines. And these mines will give us more disposable income, so we can hire better people and stuff like that. But now, let's go into Omerta and um, begin our assault. Oh yeah, something I really like. In the original game, they would rappel one by one, and now they do three at a time. So it's a lot faster. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, listen. If anyone asks what we're doing here, say we're lost, okay? Countryside looks a little too damn quiet for my liking. I say we find this yeah. Miguel dude and hanker down. I think there's trouble okay. around here. All right. Okay. So there's already enemies in this sector. Okay. This is normal. Caught some noise, Ace. All right. And we're on. That's I. I from experience, I know uh, more or less where a few of the enemies are going to be. So, as you see, it's round based. It's um, yeah. based on action points. Yes, yes. Let me yes. deactivate stealth real quick. There we go. Stand and uh, if you if you walk, that costs action points. If you like change your stances, it costs action points. And of course, firing. And for example, now I have about a 50/50 chance to hit him. But if I aim a bit more, spend a bit more action points, I can actually get a bit better hit chance here. Yes. So, let me see. Go, Grizzly. Oh, no. And then the second shot. Damn. So, yeah, sometimes you will yes. have a bit of bad luck. That is something that happens. Why did you open the door? That was stupid, actually. Can you go in and close the door again? Oh yeah. So who else sees it? Oh, Dead Eye sees it. Okay, so she should... Yeah, that's why I have her with me. She is like the sniper. That's what her role is. Exactly that. Right on. Also, she has not only a sniper rifle, but she also have a, has a scope on the sniper rifle. Which means if she's looking through the scope, she has a huge range in... A um, huge uh, visceral range where she can see enemies. Although it gives you like tunnel vision, so if she looks down the scope and somebody approaches like from the side, she will not see that. So that's kind of a balance thing. Yo. I like Vinny. <laughs> Alright, let yes. me uh, position these guys a bit, so we're not getting ambushed from behind. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. I think yes. we're just gonna w wait a few Stand rounds and... By. Uh, if you wait a few rounds, turn mode will deactivate again, and then you can walk around freely. Yes. There we go. Oh, oh. Looks like we're gonna be seeing some action, Ace. Hello. Yes. Ooh, MDS uh, can actually hit that guy potentially. 
Go MD! One for our side. <laughs> Good job, man. You know, I'm, I'm trying to explain as I play, but I, of course I also yes. try to enjoy the game. So forgive me yeah. if I'm not always explaining everything that I do. Stand if you have a question, by. just ask it in, in the comment section. I'll what? answer it as good as I can. Uh, let's go to the floor yes. here. You go into the bathroom. Yo. I'm gonna flank yes. this guy. Next turn. Yes. Oh, he's phoning for reinforcements, it seems. Yes. Yes. I, I thought he was in an alleyway, yeah, but he wasn't. Of the ones that are still nearby. Let me just. The thing is, if you um, if you aim in a direction and then aim in that direction again, he puts up his weapons, and I think that has a higher chance of causing interrupts. So Yo. if an enemy comes around the corner, the chances Yo. are high that I get the first turn. Yes. So yeah, let me do that with her as well. Yeah. Ace got a little bit of hit here. Not much, though. We's clear. Mm. Yes. Amdi is in a bit of a shitty situation there, actually. If the guy is here. Oh, yeah, that's right. what I meant. Ah. Oh yes. crap, man! Amdi got hurt badly. Jesus. Uh, yes. Let me actually let me show you this guy. He just gets full in this distance, like, without aiming, it's just, yeah, you're dead. That's the power of gunfighter and am ambidextrous. It's so super strong. Yes. yes. Holy shit, Amdi, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good thing he has a medicine thingy. I mean... Oh shit, he also lost some dexterity. Damn. That's not good. Yes. I'm not quite sure if he can perform surgery on himself. The thing is, you can remove uh, remove that malice with a surgery, but I'm not quite sure if he can if he can perform this on himself. We'll have to check after we come out of yes. this battle. Yes. Time for the enemy to say its prayers. Yes. There we go. Now. This is a bit out of range, so we come a bit forward, lay down. The thing is, he's out of range by a long shot, so... You know, let him come a bit closer if he wants yes. to. Standing by. Mm. Yeah, there we go. It's still out of range. Yes. <laughs> there he comes again. Now he's he's in range. There we go. What do you know? On. They're all and dead. we've got it. Nice. First aid. Yeah, we really have to check if we can perform surgery on him yes. because I want him to get this dexterity back because that is pretty bad. That will uh, hinder his shooting basically. Yes. All right, let me just. Quickly check the uh, inventory, the uh, dropped weapons and stuff, and also reload real quick. I like to um, do this in this mode most of the time. I don't know why. Da, da, da. I have a ton of different calibers on this on these weapons. I might not find ammo for everything. He has not fired a single shot, that's fine. Alright, what do we have? Let me unload. That's also a great feature, these buttons. Unload everything, get all attachments out, sort everything and stack it. Beautiful. It's very well what they have done with the interface. So I'm getting some more ammo for him, for his handgun. Actually, I can just give him all the magazines. I think he's the only one who uses these kind of pistols. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, she uses the these magazines as well, but yeah, can give her that. Other than that, the pistols. Uh, I mean, you know what? I should um, I should replace Vinny's pistol actually. That that 38 caliber. This thing because that's terrible. 125 10. The Viking is. 
0 25 11. That's not that good. Eh? <laughs> decisions, decisions. Well, no. So, well, I don't want to carry these with me, so I'm just gonna sell the stuff like this. So, yeah. There we go. Now, um, we shall give the letter from Enrico. We should now have to give this to... Not to this guy, this is Pacos. You have to give it to her. Why are you here? I shall give you a letter. Who are you? What is this? Hmm. A letter from Enrico Chevaldori. He has not forgotten us. No. We had given up hope of ever hearing from Enrico again. Who would believe that someone living in the comforts of exile would care about this dismal country? Very well then. Follow me. Do not make any quick moves. Miguel's men will be nervous. You do not wish to intimidate them. The Drana has brutally bombed and attacked us for over two straight months. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow her. Um, there's a few items that lie around here, but I don't think we really need most of them. Yes. Oh god, MD looks terrible. I think actually when we um, get to the rebels, we're gonna get a, yes. uh, another mercenary there, which we're gonna hire, Yo. and she can actually... I think she would be able to treat him. Yo. Actually, I want to go down here real quick, because I know there's supposed to be... Yes. Um, okay. Some uh, wire cutters and I think a what else? A crowbar should be down here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It, that sounded weird. Oh, he doesn't have a vest, hasn't he? Nothing. That sound. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this was. Uh, voiced by not a professional, it seems. Yeah. Oddly enough, only the picking up sound. That's weird. So yeah, the thing is, yes. the inventory, uh, old inventory was everybody has the same kind of inventory, and now with the new one you get these backpacks and uh, the combat packs and the vests and stuff. And Vinny, of Yo. course, doesn't has a, doesn't have a backpack nor uh, like a pouch. So. Yes. He's not very good at carrying around big items, so... Standing by. Well, neither is he, actually, for that matter. Yo! So, let me actually... You know, yeah. the, the crowbar, we don't need the crowbar yes. in, in, like, a combat yes. situation, so let me give that to Dragonique and put that in his backpack. Yes. Or in his... Con yeah, let's put it in... Let's put it in there. Yes. Yes. Good. Let's go to the next sector and meet the rebels. That sounds like a terrible sitcom. Meet the rebels. Yes. Yeah. I'm clear. All right. Come on. Okay. Move. There's also some, like some Come items on. are laying around always at the I same guess. spot, and some I are guess. random. I think. I know that up here in this house, there's like a few crates with I ammo guess. in there, and I think one with a dynamite. Sure. So might just take the dynamite. I mean, I cannot really use it, I think. Okay. Most of them are not really yes. good in explosives. 35, 35, 0, 20, 39, 37. Yeah, Hitman has the most experience, it seems. <laughs> Actually, let me... Why have you brought them here? They have been sent by Enrico Civaldori. They're here to help us, Dimitri. They must speak with Miguel. I would never bring them here without proof of this. In respect of your husband, I take your word. We will go down. But if you make mistake, Fatima, you will die with them. Yes, Fatima. <laughs> well, I will not make mistakes. If you don't count the no, MD no, thingy. And no one will die. Fatima say they are here to help us. She say she have proof, Carlos. Enrico has enlisted mercenaries to aid us in the struggle. I have a letter addressed to Miguel. It is signed by Enrico himself and contains details of the night we helped him flee Auruco. Details only he would know. Enrico? Silvatore? Most suspicious. 
I question his reasons. Most suspicious. <laughs> I do not. Let me see this letter. Here. Hmm, it be true. Enrico has sent men to help us. On behalf of my rebel force and the people of Arulco, I welcome you. We are very much in need of your aid. Divana wishes to remove Omerta from the map of this country. She is evil, a driven bitch. Yes. <laughs> that will do, Ira. I am sure our friends have heard of her nature. If not, they will know soon enough. Well, she better say her prayers, Miguel, because she's got another thing coming, like a bullet to the head. Good to be on board with her. I have lost over 30 men in the last month. My force is down to the people you see here. But I do have a few trusted people living in the Arulco countryside. The people of Arulco would overthrow Didana with pleasure, but they live in fear of her, and rightfully so. She be heartless and brutal. She has robbed our country of its money and its soul. Getting their confidence be our biggest problem. The people must feel we are capable of defeating her. Yet, without their support, we cannot. We are missing soldiers and equipment. You could not have come at a better time. We are short of food too, Miguel. We need safe passage to Drasen, or more people will die. Yes. Carlos be my close advisor. He is right. He usually be right. Making a safe route to Drazen to get supplies be a priority. If you can remove Didana's forces from your path, there is a priest in Drazen named Father Walker. He be a drunk of poor judgment. However, he will be sympathetic to our situation. Find him and tell him no more than you need to. I will send others to fetch the supplies he will gather. I wish you luck and express my gratitude. All right, so what we can do is now... Why? This is weird. Sometimes it displays you um, um, uh, the sympathy stuff. So right now everybody uh, hated Deadeye for some reason. A little bit. I don't know why exactly. What can I do for you? Um, as I said, if you um, here at the rebel base, you are able to hire different... Um, rebel characters. So, at the moment we can only hire her, Ira. I'm Ira. I came to Arulco five years ago as part of an effort to supply humanitarian aid. I soon realized the only aid they needed was in getting rid of Deidreana, by whichever means possible. Alright! I could be of help with some of the ins and outs of this country and its people. But I must tell you, I'm not a professional like you guys. That doesn't matter. I'm afraid matter. my marksmanship is a little weak for a soldier. Miguel used me mostly as a medic and a lookout. Anyways, I'm sure we'll make out okay. Let's get going. I'll lead the way. Yeah. So, after you completed that first quest he mentioned with the food, you can hire Dimitri. That was the one that was guarding the door. And I think after you um, have conquered like five cities, you can hire his personal advisor, Mig uh, Carlos. And then a bit later, you can hire Miguel as well. You got my ear! So, as you can see, she also has a medical kit, so... And I think she's also at least a paramedic, Nothing. so... Hmm. She will be able to um, treat MD a little bit, at least. 45 mag. Somebody uses that. He uses that. It's not the, the right magazine size, though. It's only 8. Oh, no, only 7, actually. That's a bit, at least. Give her that. There we go. I should do that right away because if he's hit like that, it's not gonna be good. Um, so what we're gonna do is put him on patient and Ira on doctor. Yes, she can do. I'm surgery. learning. I'm learning. The thing is, she has used up all her medical equipment right now, so we have to give her more. I think that's how it works. So now let me just put her on doctor again. Let's skip some time. And every once in a while when you just have done something, um, this is gonna happen. It's like a cutscene. Enjoy.
This better be good. Forgive the intrusion, your highness, but one of our north patrols has been attacked. Elliot, you idiot! We crushed those rebels in Omerta! How can it be? <laughs> From what we have learned, your majesty, the rebels seem to have some sort of foreign aid, commando types. We speculate they arrived on the helicopter that was spotted earlier. Commando types? What sort of commando types? From where? They may be hired mercenaries, your highness. There weren't many. What? How would the rebels get the means to recruit mercenaries? Well, no matter. Send me their bodies for examination. Uh, um, the Rebel Party seems to have used the element of surprise to their advantage, my queen. They defeated us. Send my troops to the location at once. Yes, your highness. Ah, yes. Elliot and Deidrana. It's like a comedy duo, I tell you. So we have a new male. Good luck, Inarulko. Thank you, Enrico. Thank you. So yeah, let me see if she can give MD back his dexterity, or at least uh, fix his health. The thing is, uh, with the pink health, it's it's like it's bandaged. So if, if if you lose health, first it's yellow. That means you're still bleeding. Oh, now she ran out of medical kits. Yeah. Damn. Well, it's as good as it's gonna get. So. Good thing that I has still some medical supplies, but we. That's one of the first things we need to order from Bobby Ray's is some more medical kits, I suppose. Or we need maybe we'll find some. Maybe we'll look. We're we're gonna be lucky. Um so yeah. Thing is we're first gonna attack this sector here, which is Drossen Airport. Now we have three possibilities. We either can go from um, the fastest way is this one from the west. Um, which means we will attack from like a woodland area, but we're gonna be outside of the airport area, which is um, like cut off with a wire fence. Actually, that might be a good idea, because we have wire cutters. The other possibility would be from the east, which would be a bit weird. We would be very close to like a, a building. But we'll also be outside of the area. If we go in from the north, however, we we'll can spawn inside of the wire fence at a, a position where there's surely going to be one or two enemies which we can take out immediately. So that's We've the approach cleared. I like to go for because it's one of the more easier the ones. The enemy is present in the area. Oh god. That's our luck, is it? Um, the thing is, if you go into the area like this, never do auto, auto resolve. Because that will just go badly for your mercenaries. Also, of course, we want to try to do this without uh, getting hurt. Actually, it's night time. That's even worse. Jesus. Yeah. As far as I know, I don't have any specialists. Yes. Uh, like a night op specialist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's quick save at the beginning yeah, yeah. here, and uh, hopefully it's gonna go well. I'll, I'll send uh, Draken ahead yeah, yeah. for one reason, basically. If we find an enemy, I can just um, um, yeah. unequip one of yes. his pistols because his first yeah. pistol has a silencer on it, a silencer and a laser. Yeah. Yeah. So Draken is my point man here. Hopefully, yeah. we can sneak up on them. Yes. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Yes. Maybe inside. Time for the enemy to say its prayers. Yeah, inside the barn. That's I should have figured. Um, the thing is, you see, Yo. uh, these guys have diff uh, like sometimes different colored shirts, and um, the yeah. yellow shirts are the worst ones. They're like really yes. bad. And the you got the next ears. step is the red shirts. They're like standard yes. soldiers. Then there are the black shirts, which are elite soldiers, and then there are guys who are camouflaged. You have to be very careful um, about these guys. They're super, super badass. Why don't doesn't he have his magazines into the big in, in the big holster? I don't know. We should be mindful of the ones yes. that are still nearby. All right. Turn Time around. for the enemy to say its prayers. Let's see. How good is your hit chance? Because if you can take him out like this... Oh, sweet! Nighty -night. Yo. 
Let's just position yeah. our troops here a little bit so they don't surprise yes. us. Always keep MD yes. at the back here, he's still not fully recovered. You got my ear. Ira also at the back Stand because she's by. a terrible shot. Let's you see, 55, ear. yeah, that's pretty terrible actually. Oh, nobody noticed, nice! Yes. Mm. See, I'm, al I'm always quick saving, but that's just, uh, it's yeah. a, re a reflex, I cannot yes. get rid of that somehow. I suspect they're, yeah. they're somewhere okay. around here. I think. Yes. Yes. Hmm. I don't think it, looking through the scope will really give me something here. No. I don't, I think looking through the scope only gives you an advantage at night. Eh, uh, at daytime. Standing by. You got my ear. Yo. Actually, let's also yeah. keep Vinny a okay. bit at the back. He's yes. not fighting personnel. Yes. Something's lying there. Caught some noise, eh? Oh. Someone's here. Well, I guess that is it for the silent approach. <sighs> right on. Yes. Actually, get back to the group, man. I don't want to want him to be caught like away from the group. That would be terrible. Yeah. It's ready, weapons, guys. Standing by. You got my ear. And she should look out from the back. Yes. Because I heard the AI is a lot smarter in this, so I think they have a tendency to flank you if you're not you watching out. Ear. So <laughs> we're playing Protect MD right now. Oh, she doesn't have a weapon. There we go. Yo. Oh wait, MD, where is MD? Oh, MD is here. Right, right. Protect Vinny then. <laughs> um, let's see how they're doing. I mean, they heard the gunshot, Ew. they must know where we are, more or less. Also, I think they should have seen the, the flare, the gun flare, Keep the, the muscle we fire. Get them all. Northeast, northeast, that's up here. Ew. I suspect they saw us, actually. Yeah. Let's take a step. Looks like we're gonna be seeing some action, there Ace. There we go. Go, Hitman. Nice. Yes. Let me look in this direction as well. They seem to be coming from up there. Yes. See, I always auto save. Yes. I don't know why. It's, it's just a habit I cannot get rid of. Yes. It's just absolutely terrible, I know. What was that? I just West. heard a noise. It's time to spring into action. Of course it's uh, MD again who's gonna get the... Yes. Oh god. The thing is, that's I think new in this game. You can use like sniper rifles like this on people you don't see if at least someone of your guys see them. Because normally that should not have worked I think. But snipers are so good in this game. If you have a decent sniper, he can take out a lot of guy uh, guys. Too bad. I had like a test game where I run like a complete um, troop of IMP mercenaries, so the ones that you create yourself. Um, that was ridiculous as hell. From all the guys, um, my sniper that I she had like yes. 10, 12 kills. Oh shit! Now Ira has been hit again. Well, not again, but she also lost uh, dexterity. God damn it, man! <sighs> Every time I get hit, it's yes. a critical. That's a shitty. Go down there. They might need your help. Yes. I'm sure we didn't find all of Deidreanna's men. Oh, there we go. Yo, I heard something. It's time to spring into action. <laughs> yes. I think that should that be all. Backer loses his history. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, now we're very, 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 very bad in shape. Oh, that's a terrible start to lose dexterity on two guys. That's really terrible. You got my ear. How much dexterity has she lost? Thirteen points. Jesus fucking Christ. I hate that. You know, if I wouldn't be recording this, I probably would reload. <laughs> But, you know, since this is a let's play, I thought I would just yes. just run with it, you know? Of course. And failure yes. is a part of the experience. And, yeah. 
at least in some of the time. Sometimes you just have to experience the by. the harshness of this game, I, I suppose. Nothing. Let me just look through the house yes. here, if there's anything interesting. Sometimes the bathrooms have yes. uh, med, med kits, if you're lucky. Hello, sir. Nothing. You have nothing? All right. Oh, well, that was a battle that didn't need to happen. Oh, well. At least she got some ammo out of it, I guess. Because she's always short on ammo, this girl. Let me take all of the ammo. <laughs> or should she take that? The thing is, this thing has an accuracy bonus. Actually, it's better than this. Yeah, sure, let me just get all the ammo. MD does... Oh no, not MD, Vinny uses them as well. So let me get some of... Onto him as well. There we go. Actually, there's even more ammo. I mean, we can unload the stuff. Oh, also holsters. I'm not sure everyone has a holster yet. He has a pistol holster. Oh yeah, actually they do. Nice. So, I'll just take that with me because I know at one point they probably gonna change guns. So I'm just taking that. Let me give you some more ammo. I mean, if you if you have that much ammo, just take it with you. Why wouldn't you? Get some more monies. There we go. Oh, we have to keep Ira at, at a safe distance now. All right, let's uh, let's continue. Oh, falling asleep on my feet. Yeah, you can sleep when you're there. Just bear with me for a I made bit it. more. Let's do something already. There we go. Let me sl sleep that sleep that off. The thing is, we're probably gonna engage in in daytime. Thing is, if you have a lot of mercenaries with night ops and stuff, you should totally go on night operations. But I don't, so yeah. New recruitment alternative! Yes, there is a different um, mercenary service than AIM. It's the MERC, the More Economic Recruiting Center. Hello? Hello? Is this operational? Hello? Uh, wait, now which switch was it? Bear with me. Line out. Okay, hello? There we go. Please accept my apologies for that. We're just getting the equipment installed here and I am trying at present to work out some of its finer points. You didn't have any trouble finding us, did you? We are a relatively new organization, and for all intents and purposes, you are our first customer. I must say that this is highly exhilarating. I am aware that you may have heard certain things about us, but I encourage you to put them aside. After all, my partner, Biff Epscott, and I are both former AIM members and highly decorated mercenaries ourselves. MERC is our first attempt to open up the market by offering comparable quality, better service, and unique candidates for recruitment. You will undoubtedly be interested to know why you should choose Merc over AIM. I have prepared, uh, there it is, a list. First, no money is required up front, unlike certain other organizations. You pay only when you receive the invoice. Secondly, I am confident that you will appreciate our prices. Lastly, we offer a good range of individuals, and as business improves, I plan to expand my venture, offering more and more mercenaries for your perusal. I will also be updating our web page. In passing, it was prepared rather quickly, and Biff is not as skilled with a mouse as he is with a gun. In any case, don't let it deter you. We are a new organization committed to serving your needs. So perhaps I could interest you in opening up an account? Biff has, I believe, incorporated that feature. Yeah, sure, we're gonna do that. It doesn't hurt, really. On behalf of Merck, thank you for opening an account with us. This is rather important to us, actually, and we ask that you continue to support us as we strive to improve our service and selection. So, Merck, as they said, um, you don't need to pay them up front. You pay them after a certain amount of time. Which is good if you're like... Uh, short of money, but you need a bit of manpower just to get like a certain mission done But the MR 
MERC members are not the best, in my opinion. Although I have to say there's two people who I always... Almost every game I hire them just because I find them funny. One is Haywire and the other is Razor. They're like a, a, a psychopathic duo. They're, I mean, Haywire is just like a badass show-off kind of guy and Razor is a proper psycho. So these two are super entertaining. They're not the best mercenaries, but they're entertaining as hell. Also, there were some new guys here that I've never seen. Well, I've seen them. They're like XAIM or AIM members. You cannot hire them in the normal game, but they're the AIM website has like a, a sections with former members, and some of these guys are recognized from there. There's actually a lot of people here now. That's interesting. I have to look through them out as well. Alright, but I think that's actually good for the first episode. We're north of Drosten with two slightly injured mercenaries and a bit short of medical supplies. But I think Drosten should be okay. Um, I mean, we can get in from nor the north and just take out a few guys at the start and then there's a great distance which the enemy would have to cover to get to us. And there, Dead Eye will shine like at its gem. I will guarantee you that. You'll take them out left, right and center. So that's the plan. Like set up uh, like a, a point at that zone. Just clear everything out with our, with our mercenaries, the normal guys, and then just set up that eye and just snipe them down. That's what's gonna be. And let's see, she has a lot of ammo as, as far as I know. That's, yeah, that's more than 50 shots. Actually, let's convert that to our normal ammo. The thing is, if you try to load ammo, that's the right ammo type, but the wrong magazine, it costs more action points, so you better, you better do that. So yeah, that's over like 125 shots, I suppose? Something like that? 123. Alright, and then we still have a pistol sidearm, which is nice. Good! Let me do a proper save. Let me save that here, just so I don't override him. As you can see, I have done some testing. <laughs> I've amassed some money. That's the one where I just uh, play with the um, custom mercenaries, plus a few of the local pickups. And you just kind of accumulate money like a crazy man. It's funny. Alright, good. So I hope you enjoyed this first, maybe a bit troublesome, episode of Jack of the Lions 2 1.3 patch. And uh, I'll see you next time when we invade Drassen and hopefully not get killed in the process. Yeah, see you next time. Take care.